Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Uncle Max Cookery Lessons. In this video I'll be making pick a lily. Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing you how I make this wonderful stuff. It's called pick a lily. It's an Anglo-Indian relish or pickle. It is absolutely stunning. It's going to go perfectly with any sort of cured meats, cheeses, anything like that. And it is a video that I have made it in the past, a few years ago. The sound quality was absolutely terrible. And it's Mother's Day tomorrow, so I thought I'd make some for my mum. And uh, I think you're going to really like this video. All right, there's the ingredients I've used for this and the uh, link to the raw recipe on my website will be in the description. So let's clear away everything except I think the main ingredient, I don't think you can possibly call it piccalilli unless you've got cauliflower in there, cucumber as well, I think is essential and onion. What I'm doing here is just breaking the cauliflower into tiny little florets, very, very similarly sized, and that's how much they weighed because it's difficult to say, you know, do you use half a cauliflower or a quarter? It depends on the size, doesn't it? Anyway, dicing some red onion. Of course, you could use little baby onions, uh, pearl onions, whatever you want to call them. I'm using a orange pepper. And uh, in my previous video, I used the red pepper. But, you know, I'm, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. And what I'm doing with the size of these vegetables, I'm just preparing them to a fairly even-sized dice. This is the cucumber, which I'm just scraping out the very, very watery seeds from the center and then cutting those into strips and then into dice and this is a remake of a video because the original one the sound quality was awful and um, you know it, it deserves another go so let's see if I can do a better attempt this time here's some carrot and I'm dicing that a little bit smaller because carrots are uh, you know a bit firmer a bit more dense so there we go that's all the vegetables I'm using plus the salt into a bowl give that a thorough mix around like so I'm going to cover that and put that in the fridge for anything up to a day I think 24 hours is a maximum but you know six six to 24 hours and in fact this was the same day it's many many hours later in the same day and you can see it's all sort of moist so a very very thorough washing you want to get rid of all that salt but you don't want it tasting that salty and then pat those dry and i'm just going to leave that to the side while i now prepare the sort of the piccalilli the the chili part of piccalilli because it's a combination of the two words pickle and chili and as uh, i never know how hot chili is going to be until you taste the bit and yeah that one was quite warm so i got rid of most of the seeds and the pithy bits and i'm dicing that up very small Indeed, like the French would call that brunoise, perhaps. So into a pot goes the, the chilli and the malt vinegar and most of the white vinegar, but I'm leaving a little bit of white vinegar because I'm going to use it to form a little paste from the corn flour. And I've got turmeric and English mustard powder in there as well. Stir that into a paste like so. Right, that um, vinegar has been boiling, simmering for 10 minutes with the chilli in it and that pan previously had some jars sterilising in simmering water which is a nice nice thing to do to make sure it you know, has every chance of keeping for a long time. Put the paste into the vinegar, stir it into, uh, over a low heat until it becomes to a sort of nice a thick mess like that and it was a bit lumpy. I don't like using whisks in pans but I had to on that occasion just to get rid of some of the lumps. Now this is where you may want to cook this on or stop immediately, depending on how long it's going to be before you have this, because it will take, if you have them completely raw, that's great. It's going to be a couple of months before the vegetables are softened. So I usually leave mine cooking just gently for about five minutes, which softens them. So whilst that was finishing, I'm preparing a little grease poof or baking parchment lid that's going to go inside the jar. So the jars I've used also select jars that are have been previously used for some sort of pickle because the, they'll have a coating on the inside of the lid that won't react with the acid in the piccalilli and turn your piccalilli bad. So you saw me folding up the bit of paper, cutting it, there we go, we've made a little thing called a cartouche which is also going to be protecting the lid on the inside of the jar from the acids in this chutney. Basically it's a chutney isn't it really? And it's now done. It's that easy. So into the sterilised jars, I fill them up. I try to get every single bit in there. There was a little bit left over, which I just put in a ramekin for me immediately. 
clean up the sides of those jars and inside pop in your bit of parchment like so how easy is this really pop your lid on now that one is a kilner jar so that's designed for canning so it's got a two-stage lid give that a nice squeeze there and the other lid and then it's going back into a pan of simmering water for 10 minutes or so and that's going to help that canning process to create a vacuum label them pop them in the cupboard or the fridge and forget about them or you know get stuck in straight away depending on how much you've cooked them and I must thank a viewer called Chillmax who reported on the previous video I made said how good she thought it was I think it's a she and uh, but she has a 200 year old family recipe and she was very complimentary about this so Chillmax if you watch this I really appreciate you taking time to leave such a nice comment Right, so what I'm doing here is, you know, it'd be a boring video if we just went, there you go, the pickle is done. So I'm making a bit of bruschetta with a ciabatta. That's nice and toasty, looking very, very tasty. And let's present this accoutrement for the pickle because the pickle is the star of the show. But we've got some charcuterie there with some salami and some pr uh, prosciutto and etc. There goes some of the pickle This is the next day. And, uh, you know, decorate that with a bit of rocket perhaps and it's looking rather snazzy isn't it and you're just gonna tear tear your bread put some piccalilli on it whack a bit of prosciutto on it and stick that in your gob and uh, i'm gonna hand you back over to me for the tasting piccalilli it's gorgeous it's absolutely lovely now these these i made yesterday that one i'm gonna keep sealed this one we're gonna use but this one here will be so much better in a month's time or even a couple of months time left alone to mature but, you know, we're impatient here. So this is absolutely wonderful. Yeah, it's perfect with... Mm. It's perfect with anything you might have, anything else that's pickle, hams, you know, cold meats, cheese is absolutely wonderful. So why not give making Pickle Lily a try? I think you'll really like it. And I'll keep mentioning, please, if you are here, please take the time to press the thumbs up or like this video in any way you can a comment a share and a subscription would be really appreciated because it would help to grow my channel and it needs help anyway i will see you again pretty soon bye